Hey there everyone! I have a really quick special announcement for you and originally I had a longer video all done and recorded but as always I had issues trying to transfer it from my phone. So the big news is I am getting set to do my first official book release. So I mentioned having done NaNoWriMo this past November and um, actually over the past year I have been experimenting with different kinds of writing, different um, platforms for writing I guess you could say and basically trying to figure out how I could reconnect with this hobby of mine that has been an interest since I was a child. I decided at the beginning of 2016 <laughs> that I wanted to actually make writing a bigger part of my life and a more valued part of my life. So I have a book, I have several actually shorter works that I have compiled over this time. I've experimented with some publishing options and what I am ready to do now is to basically re-release a book that I had put together earlier in the year that was not doing well because I did not know how to market it. And I have fluffed it, fluffed it up a bit. I have made it more substantial because it started out very small because I knew it was an experiment and I have learned hopefully a little bit about marketing so I am going to give it another go. This first book that I will be releasing has to do with money manifestation. It's a topic that I find interesting and it's one that I have been working on for a little while now. So it tells you about the process I have gone through up to this point trying to manifest abundance and prosperity in my life also some ways to do that and specifically the ways that I used to do that and my results. And I am trying to also put together a workbook that will go with this book in case you like the idea and want to try and implement your own rituals and routines. I personally really enjoy workbooks, so I am going to offer that up as well. I don't know if it... the two will probably not go together, at least initially, um, but I will make it available as a companion, a free companion to the book. So here is my offer and the details. This book called um, Magic Money a little bit cheesy, but there's a reason for that uh, title. It has to do with the person who gave me the idea in the first place. Will be re-released January. January 1st, I'm hoping to get it out again. What I would like to offer to any of, any of you who are interested is to receive a copy of the book about a week in advance. It will be a free complimentary copy and I would like to ask for your honest reviews on it. Um, the reason is I want to know how to improve what I'm working on and what you liked about it, what you didn't like, that sort of thing so that I can make the next item, which hopefully will come shortly after that, uh, better for you because I do have, as said, several writing projects kind of lined up for next year and I'm hoping to make 2017 the year that I really get my writing projects up and running. 2016 was the experimentation phase and now I'm wanting to actually get things published and out and useful for people. <laughs> so. I will be posting a blog post along with this to the website with Hazel's Cauldron and I will have uh, details there also about it. Basically the same information I'm giving here 
for date and how to receive your complimentary copy. Basically, if you sign on to the newsletter, I will be sending out information in the newsletter this month about the uh, about the book. And it's all still a little bit foggy in my head, but trust me, I will work it out <laughs> and I will get this out to you. But yeah, that's what I wanted to say is I'm releasing a book and I hope some of you might find it interesting. If so, I hope you will continue to want to take a look at these books. I will be offering them as they come out in advance for free for anyone interested in reviewing them. I have on the docket for 2017, in addition to this Money Manifestation book, one about um, spell casting, which is actually going to be intention casting because I don't want to too tightly pigeonhole into the witchy um, niche because I believe all of these concepts are universal and I don't want to inadvertently exclude anyone who maybe does not practice witchcraft or does not believe in the the same ideas as um, pagans. Um, I think many people do have the same ideas, but if um, it's worded a little bit differently, then it, it comes across wrong, if, if that makes any sense. So, intention casting. And I am hoping to also put out a series or a longer work. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to split it up. Having to do with women in today's culture, mainly the concepts of beauty that we run into. And that one is in progress, but I have not decided how much research um, or what the leaning is going to be. If it's going to be more personal observation and research or if it's going to be more academic. But that is also on the docket. As well as hopefully getting this fiction work that I did for NaNoWriMo completed, edited, and up and running. So all of this I will let you know how it goes as it's going through the newsletters. So if you are interested, please take a look at the website, sign on for the newsletter. I am not one of these people that sends out newsletters every week. I think I mention in there at most maybe once a month I might send one out, but that's kind of pushing it for me. I just don't have the time to do that. Um, but when something special like this comes up, I will be sending out a newsletter to let you know. So thank you very much, and I hope that you guys are interested and that you find the book I'm putting out um, useful. Talk to you soon. Bye.